Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm yours, Chris, doing something a little bit special today. I've got a bunch of fan mail. I've got uh, two boxes that were sent to me this week from just people who watch the show, um, Dustin and Chris. I don't, I don't want to say their last name, um, but a big, huge thanks to you guys. Both of them from California, one of them's from San Diego. I believe the other one, I think Chris is from Northern California. I could be wrong. I'm, I don't recognize the place where he's from. I didn't look but I think it's Northern California. Let's get started. This one is from Dustin. Again, thank you so much, Dustin. Um, both of you guys have t-shirts coming your way. Um, just shoot me your, your mailing address and the size shirt, um, and I'm gonna send you guys shirts. Thank you so much for doing this. You don't have to do this, and I just really appreciate it. I'm definitely gonna review these beers. So this one is from Dustin, the first beer um, that he said that I've been trying to get a hold of. I haven't been able to find. Um, I know Ryan wasn't able to find it when he sent me some beer. This one is Yule Smith. This is the L. Smith um, Summer Holiday Beer. It's basically a massive Imperial IPA. I hear nothing but great things about it. So can't wait to try this one. Thank you so much. Um, but he also sent me two bottles of the Stone Ishi Baird um, collab. You know, it's the green tea, Japanese green tea IPA that they did for the Tsunami Relief. Um, I've had this before. I just haven't reviewed it. It's really, really awesome stuff. So finally going to review this one. The next thing he sent was, and I have nothing, have had nothing from these guys. This is from Speakeasy Brewing in San Francisco. I think uh, Winton, Beer Chituba gets a lot of their stuff. This is the Prohibition Ale, um, which is a hoppy amber ale, 6.1%, uh, so a nice sessional beer. I love this bottle design, artwork on it's awesome with the eyes. And um, The next thing he sent, and I'm glad he sent this, um, because Bear Republic for me, around me, I seem to always get their stuff old. I don't know if their stuff doesn't hold up well in bottles or what, but every time I have one of their beers around me, not on draft, like in a bottle, it just tastes like a barley wine. It's so old. So I'm glad he sent this. He said it's really fresh. This is their Hop Rod Rye, um, which is a really, really hoppy rye. Again, I've had this one. It's just been an older bottle. This one is from Stumpy Joe Jr.'s Neck of the Woods. This is from Iron Fist Brewing. It's a family-owned brewery that just opened, I guess about a year ago now, maybe a little bit under a year. They do a lot of Belgian stuff, but they also do a double IPA now, and they do this one. This is their Velvet Glove Imperial Stout. Comes in at 9% alcohol by volume. They just actually started coming to the Philly market maybe about a week to two weeks ago. So I haven't seen anything around me, but I know about an hour from me, they get their stuff, just started getting it. Um, so I'm definitely going to be reviewing this one. I've actually shot a review for it. I just haven't posted it yet. Um, really great stuff. So stay tuned for that very soon. Again, thank you. And last but certainly not least is one that I've never even, I've read about it. I just figured I would never get to try it. Um, this is from the brewery. This is their Batch 300 Triple. Um, which is a, I'll just read from the you know, bottle here. It's Belgian style ale aged on oak. It's a triple brewed with citra hops, so I'm already sold, <laughs> and aged on oak cubes, giving a balanced vinous flavor. Congrats to Grant Phillip for winning on our Batch 300 homebrew contest, 8.2%. Um, I've not seen it anywhere. I don't know if it's a brewery only release, pardon the expression, a the brewery only release at their store, the provision shop or something. Um, so I'm not sure. Leave them a comment below. But again, Dustin, thank you so much. Definitely going to review this one. You did an awesome job, man. Again, thank you for all the extras and you've got a shirt coming your way. So thank you again, Dustin. We're going to move on to Chris's, another California box. And I know one of the beers in here, um, but it's a 20 pound box. So there's definitely more than one. So let me get this, uh, cut open here. So I don't have to do that on camera and come back in a second. I just popped these open. I didn't look at them just so you guys didn't see me fumbling around with these things on camera. So it looks like he sent six bottles and I was only expecting one. So again, Chris, thank you so, so much. Um, so let's get started. I have no idea. Oh, I know what one of these bottles is. So, All right, so the first one. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. This is the, <laughs> I just got the name, uh, Run BMC from the brewery. Um, it's a quadruple. <laughs> It's, that's great. A quadruple hop to play on the triple hopped Imperial Pilsner. 7% um, alcohol by volume, really cold. And you know, as you, as you guys know, the BMC is Bud Miller course. Um, this is a provision shop only release. This is awesome. I had never seen this one. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> that's great. Uh, supplication from Russian River. Um, looks like batch six. 
I have reviewed this one. Um, check out the review for it. I might review it again. I got a lot of requests for this one. Um, it was an older review, so I like to kind of update newer reviews, but definitely an awesome beer. Actually, one of my favorite Russian River beers. Um, it's a great sour. It's absolutely fantastic stuff. And I actually got to have that on tap um, a few months ago at a local hop fest thing, so near Philly. Right, the next one. Scubber. Oh, sweet. This is the Just Outstanding IPA from Kern River Brewing, um, famous for the you know Citra double IPA. 6.8%. Yeah, just a big uh, IPA. I mean, looking forward to that. I didn't think I'd ever get to try that. Um, yeah, it's awesome. Thank you. And the next one. What is this? This is another provision series um, from the brewery, and these are provision shop only beers. This is Snicklefritz, I believe. It's like written in graffiti. It's awesome. It is a Belgian style gold nail aged on oak with citrus and spices. Very nice. Um, 10%. Wow, so a massive beer. That is awesome. Thank you again. Cool. Thank you so much. That's awesome. These provision shops you can't get outside of the breweries. Um, factory store, I guess if you want to call it that, up there. They're kind of like one-offs. So here's another one. Oh, wow. Tart of Darkness, a sour stout aged in oak barrels. 5.6%. It's another provision shop series. Aged up to three years. So it's aged in their bourbon barrels. Um, that they do their imperial stout. That's awesome. I'm going to have to do a whole week just of the provision stuff. Now that I have three, that's awesome. And the last but not least, this is the one I knew about, I think. Yep, there it is. This is the Kern River Citra Double IPA. Um, what is it? I think it's around 8%. Um, this is on the top 100 of Beer Advocate already. This is the first time it's ever been bottled. Uh, this is a super fresh bottling. It just came out, I think, you know, beginning of August. Um, I hear nothing but great things about it. Citra is probably my favorite hop that they do IPAs with, really any beer. Um, so this one is definitely coming really soon. Um, I can't wait to get into it. I've heard nothing but amazing things about it. So it's Citra and Amarillo hops, very, very similar um, flavor profiles. Um, Citra's a pain to brew with because the alpha city units fluctuate from batch to batch. It's a newer hot variety. So again, wow, Chris, Dustin, thank you guys so much. Um, just amazing stuff. Great beer haul. This is crazy. Uh, again, you guys are getting t-shirts. Um, email your, your sizes and your addresses and they're going to be out to you. I'll send you some other stuff too. Um, but yeah, this is awesome. My first fan mail video, I guess. So with that said, guys, uh, yeah, I got a lot of beer to put away. Got stuff in the fridge. So with that said, remember life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Um, and if you guys do want to get a hold of me, facebook.com slash beergignation. That's probably the easiest. Post on the wall or send me a message on there. Chris at beergignation.com is my email address. You can send me a message on YouTube. You can send me a message on beergignation.com. I'm also on Skype. Um, you can find me on Skype if you want. Um, and that's about it. Google Plus, I'm on there now, but the address is huge and it's kind of dumb. Um, I don't know how to shorten it. So with that said, guys, uh, yeah, have a good one and cheers.